and welcome to the Blue Review. Today we are talking about Into the Wild from Paramount Home Entertainment. So Into the Wild is a film directed by Sean Penn based off a true story starring Emile Hirsch. Uh, basically, this kid graduates from college and decides that he's had enough of his parents bitching and fighting and being mean to each other and all of the sort of mean things that they do, and he's giving up and moving to Alaska. So he takes off in his car, and when it gets stuck in the mud, he just basically abandons it. He, aban he abandons it and burns all of his money and decides he's just going to live a sort of hobo, tramp-style life, a lifestyle. And he, uh, as he makes his way to Alaska, which takes him about two years, and he meets all these interesting people, and that's pretty much about. There isn't much more to it than that. But Into the Wild is a really good movie. It, I, I think everyone should see this movie, but I do have some criticisms about it. And one of them is that the film is a little long. And the, that, having said that, I realize the next one isn't going to make a whole lot of sense, but it was long in the fact that the film is sort of disjointed. These characters sort of weave in and out of his life, and you never really feel like he's formed a strong bond with anyone. They're just sort of there, and then they're not there. And I felt like with the two and a half hours, they could have done a lot more to establish who these characters were, why they were so important in his life, and to establish him as a character, the thing about the character that Emile Hirsch plays is you don't really feel like he's changed. You don't feel like the, the journey or the adventure has somehow opened him up or changed him or made him a different or better person or, or showed him anything. So you don't feel like he's just a sort of a character who starts being sort of pissed off and wanting to go in the wild and ends sort of being sort of, I guess, a little bit upset that he went into the wild because it killed him. But... I don't know. You never. I never really felt like this was a story where the character had some kind of a change. And in that, a lot of the other stories sort of feel a little disjointed. And I, I think some people will find themselves more emotionally connected to this movie than I did. I kind of wanted it to be more, and it wasn't. But having said that, Into the Wild is still a really great movie, and uh, definitely one that I think everyone should check out. Now, if you've only seen this in standard definition, you are missing so much. This is an amazing transfer. I'm, I'm saying it's five stars. And there's so many things in this film that just like grab your attention and, and give you that three-dimensional feel. There's, there's a section where he's traveling through this forest uh, and he's walking down this log in California and, and it's just, it's fantastic. It's amazing. And this is the kind of film that I think really uh, shows off why, why high definition is better than standard def, why Blu-ray is better than DVD. Um, and when you look at this film, you're just amazed. Uh, everything in this film is just fantastic uh, in terms of the visuals, in terms of the high definition. I, I, I recommend everyone check this out. It, it, it's a really good movie. Don't get me wrong. It, it's not perfect. It has its flaws. Uh, great Blu-ray edition and uh, a decent enough movie, so check it out.